Now we're gonna introduce the concept of managers. So we've already used managers inside of our code, and not just in the terminal when we were doing stuff like this, but also in specifically this one right here that is using a model manager, but also when we created things inside of the utility function, we did this same filter, that is actually using a model manager. So what a model manager is and what it allows us to do is kind of handle the some of the logic behind the actual model itself. So there's already ones that are built in. The ones that are built in are like filter or objects.all or objects.get or create. Now that objects portion of it is the actual model manager. That is handling stuff related to the model class as well as just general methods that we might wanna have. Now, of course, there's already built-in ones such as all and filter. And now what we could do is actually change how all of those work. So let's go ahead and come in here and we'll do class and I'll say cur URL manager equals to, or excuse me, that's models.manager. And we can define something here. So we'll define all and we're gonna tell self args and keyword args. So all being the call that we did. So if we did cur url.objects.all, we would see all of these objects in here, right? So we can actually change how that works. Now the, the way I can change it is by doing query set equals to super, and this is cur url monitor self.all, and then args, keyword args and we'll return QS. So QS being query set. So this right here is actually the default for that particular manager, right? The built-in default for all. But we can also update this and say QS equals to QS.filter, and we could do some stuff in here. Now, I actually want this to be a specific filter, and that is active URLs. So I'm gonna make a new field in here, and I'll say active, and we'll do models.boolean field, default equals to true, all right? So in my all call, I wanna make sure that I have active, actual active stuff, but I just changed the models, so, or a specific model, so what do I have to do? Hopefully you know, I'm gonna go ahead and close out the server, python manage.py, make migrations, and then python manage.py migrate. That is actually what we have to do every time after we create the models, as we've seen before. So let's jump back into our manager. Now we've got this field active. If I actually look in the admin, I see that active is there. Well, if I didn't want, if I wanted to adjust my general query set, like that default, every link on my site or default thing for every object in the query in cure URL, we would want to come in here and say qs.filter equals to active equals to false. So of course, this is the first query set. And all this right here is doing is taking that first one and filtering it down and then updating the query set to this. So I could say query set main is just like that, right? And of course we could also just add this filter at the end of that, but I'm gonna leave it in here just like this. So what this does is it's gonna change how our query sets come through. So to do this, let's, uh, let's actually see it in action by going into our Python shell. So python manage.py shell and we're gonna do from shortener.models import uh, cur URL. And if I did cur url.objects.all, I will get all of the objects. And I could check out the count. So these are query set. These are model manager methods. So I get count, I just do dot count, and it'll give me really dot count is dot all dot count. So it's saying five. Right, but we we adjusted this model manager um, and we could see it in action, but we have a little bit of an issue. So let's actually make one of them deact uh, not active, and we hit save and continue. And I try and do the count or all again. I still get five. Well, why is that? I created a model manager to it, but I didn't actually link it in. So I can do a couple things for the model manager. I can say objects equals to cur URL manager. I could also say some random. equals to cur URL model manager two. I'm gonna explain what these two do in just a second. 
So let's save that, and we're gonna have to exit out of the shell because we have to basically re-import what's going on. So we exit out of the shell, re-import this, and now what we're gonna do is copy cur url.objects.all, and we press enter. Notice that the query set has changed, right? Because we have active being false here, it only shows one of them showing up. Of course, we don't want active to be false, but I just wanted to show you this, that how well these model managers work. And the reason objects is the actual method or the way we call it, we could, is, is just the built-in thing that, that Django did itself. But I can always use some underscore random now as my new model manager. So for example, if you didn't want to override Django's model managers with these objects, you could use your own. Now, I'm not exactly sure why you'd wanna do that, but it is something to note, and it shows you a little bit of how it works. So it actually hooks in to this model manager, which basically has a bunch of methods built into it to make your life easier in dealing with manager, or excuse me, dealing with models itself. So in this case, I'm gonna change it back to true because we only wanna show on all, we wanna make sure that they're all active. Um, this is not the same as delete, right? So it's still in our database, but it is no longer gonna show up in our main query set. So if I go ahead and exit again, go back into the shell, I can come in here and import the cur URL and do all again. And now it's gonna be four items. And of course, if I do all.count, I'll see that there's only four items coming through because of what I did. Um, so that's, that's simply doing a general thing with model managers, that's overriding something. But that's not what I wanna do. Um, I can't, I'm going to leave it because it is still useful for what it is, but what I actually want to do is ch have a method in here that I can change all of the short codes all at once. So if for some reason I just needed to change all the short codes, how would I go about doing that? And what I'm going to do is actually uh, uh, just slightly different than the all call, and I'll say def define and I'll be um, revert short codes or refresh short codes. And I'm just gonna take in self. I don't need to have args or keyword args because this is our own custom method inside of this model manager here. So I'm gonna to wanna to get my query set. And in this case, I'm gonna just do cur url.objects and I'm going to filter the ID or PK, either one, greater than or equal to zero. Well, greater than or equal to one. So this is literally every item. This is really the only true way to get all, especially if I do something like this on all, right? So this is gonna get everything after that and it's gonna filter it all. So that's literally every query set. So now what I could do is for Q in QS, I can just call the create shortcode method on it. So I'll do Q.shortcode equals to, well, I can make it equal to none because then the save method is going to recreate one for me. Or I could just create it again by passing in the shortcode like that and then do q.save and then we are gonna return some sort of count here. So I'm gonna just say new shortcodes, new codes equals to zero. And then here I'll just do new codes plus equals to one, just how for loops work. And then I'll return a little string saying um, new codes made and just doing some string substitution in here and then dot format i equals to new codes. There we go. So this is allowing us to refresh all of the short codes. In fact, what we could also do is just print out what q.shortcode is just so we see that it is actually refreshing all of them. And I also wanna make sure that you guys understand the reason I'm doing this is just to show you what you can do with model managers. This right here might not be that practical. The time that it would potentially be practical is if you had a default here of like, let's say ABC or something like that, and you no longer had this unique equals to true, then what you could really do is refresh short codes. You could say in here, you could put a, a clause in here saying if q.shortcode is equal to ABC, then you could run all of those things. That would definitely make it unique. But of course, I am not gonna do that. I wanna keep the actual 
um, set up for the model itself correct. But I just wanted to show you that you absolutely can do this. So we save that. Let's go ahead and exit out of the shell again because we made some changes to it. So we're gonna go ahead and import the cur URL again. And then we're gonna import and we're gonna do cur urlobjectsrefresh short codes, parentheses, press enter. And notice it refreshes all the short codes and it says new codes made five. Um, we did print out some of these other things so I didn't actually have to uh, print. Let's see, we're printing all, all of these things out because of our utility function in here. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of these now. We don't need them any longer. Um, so I'm gonna try that one more time just so it's a little bit cleaner. And we're gonna copy up here, paste that, and refresh those short codes, paste that, press enter. And what do we see? We see five new short codes being made. Um, and now they're all definitely 100% refreshed. Cool. So that is kind of nice. Obviously they're all different. And then if you had hundreds of things like that, you 100% could do that. Now, uh, again, the practical application of this is completely up to you, but it is important to see how model managers work because now that I have this kind of call, I can actually use a command to do this call. So when I come in here and I do python manage.py run server, that is a really nice management command that we might wanna have our own such as refresh short codes or refresh codes or something like that. That is what we'll do actually in the next one. And that's the reason, the reason that we created this in the first place was to show you the next part, which is pretty useful. All right, if you have any questions on this, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.